design a cantilever mechanics or a statically determined mechanics, we shouldn't say, oh, we have to apply the molar. I usually use this cantilever. Because a molar uprighting, just to give you an example, can be many, many different movements. There might be a movement where you want to extrude this, where you want to avoid any vertical movement, where you want to intrude it, where you want to upright it more or less, where you want to close the space, where you want to reopen the space. All this are completely different movement. And for every specific movement, you have to think to the optimal solution. And this is related to a force system. And to a, for a different force system, you will have a different statically determined mechanics. So you don't do, as of right here, this is always the same thing. But you think and you prepare your optimal mechanics. OK? So I will try to give you uh, some examples for some, let's say, some mm, family uh, of movement, taking as reference the force system. Okay. And so, and let's say that the first group I want to analyze with you, it's uh, the condition where we have uh, the need uh, for a big moment or even better, a moment and no force. So this would be a situation where the moment to force is equal to infinity. So if the force is zero, the moment divided zero is infinity. Now, the only uh, mechanical system that can produce this moment of force equal to infinity is the so-called couple, okay? Uh, when you have a force like that, another force like this, if the two forces are equal, uh, that are applied along parallel line of action, have the same magnitude in opposite direction, they produce a couple. In this case, you have a moment and no force, okay? But what we have seen also is that if you use uh, a force system where the moment to force is very high, let's make an example, uh, could be 30, 40, 50, something like that, it becomes always less and less um, easy to, to find the difference between the movement generated by this couple with the moment of force ratio of infinity and the movement that is generated with this very high moment to force ratio. In other words, let's start giving a look to this canine. This canine here has to be rotated uh, almost 180 degrees, let's say 160. This is the buckle surface. And um, before dis discussing the mechanics, I want you to see this movement from here to here to here. Okay, what has happened is uh, a great rotation of the moment of the of the canine, sorry. But it might be it might be that during this rotation the CR has moved for a very small amount. That is very possible. What do I mean? That probably what I have got here is not a pure rotation. If you have any kind of movement of the central resistance, it's not a pure rotation anymore. But for clinical uh, purposes, I cannot think that this is not a pure rotation. So the, the canine rotated uh, 
as far as I can see around its long axis, and there is no translation I can detect clinically. Okay.